to Pacific. Go to Pop TV reality show, Sex Box. Uh -huh. And here's what happens. A couple goes into a box to get frisky. Outside, there is a live studio audience. Just waiting for them to come out. It's tomorrow. You want to see this. <laughs> I, it's, I don't understand it. See y'all tomorrow. Great. Miss Perfect just walked in. Hi, Alicia. Hey, what's happening? No, I'm just still in school. Looks like you're still training to be a medical assistant. Finished. I'm working now. Already? Yeah, they helped me find my job. I'm still writing term papers. You should really think about becoming a medical assistant. Hey, that might be the best tip I get all day. Call 956-465-0401 for your career compass guide. Kaplan College, your career compass. From the Valley's News Channel, this is Channel 5 News at 5. Good afternoon. I'm Oscar Adhama. Melissa has a day off. And right off the top, our coverage of an FBI raid in Benitas continues. Federal agents wrapping up a, their day's work at a family health clinic. Channel 5's John Bartell at the scene since this all began. John, what's happening right now? Well, Oscar, it's actually a pretty different scene than it was just an hour ago. We are at the Palm Village Family Clinic here in the parking lot. You can see it's empty right now, but just an hour ago, it was full of federal agents, and what they were doing is raiding this building behind me, the clinic. It's all locked up right now. We don't know if it's going to be open tomorrow, but we have been out here since 10 o'clock trying to figure out what federal agents were looking for. We really weren't getting any answers. There was very little action until about our four o'clock newscast when something started happening. I want to go to some video right now to show you. As you can see, uh, these federal agents are bringing out boxes and putting them into their van. Now, these boxes appear to be containing some kind of files of some sort. We're, we're not exactly sure, but the FBI raided the clinic this morning shortly after it opened. Uh, to give you an idea of the activity that's going on in this area, they've been, uh, the federal agents have been taking tools out out of their truck and moving them into the health clinic. For example, they had ladders, several briefcases for documents, and most of the agents were wearing gloves. Now, we're still trying to figure out what they were looking for, and we even called the FBI headquarters in San Antonio, and they said they're not going to comment on this investigation. Now, um, they're just about no one is talking. The only one that is talking in this area is the convenience store manager that's right next to this building, and he says the FBI raid has had a big impact on business today. Take a listen. I uh, will get like, I don't know, from 20 to 30 customers, but right now it's been so slow. We've uh, only seen about three guys so far, so it's kind of slow. There's a lot of guys that don't have a driver's license. Once they see the FBI agents, uh, they just don't want to stop. Now, we also saw many uh, clients here, the, the patients, trying to get into the clinic uh, to their appointments, but, of course, the FBI turning them away. Now, we did a little digging into the property here, and we found that the, the owner uh, is Ricardo Mendez. He's the owner uh, of this, this clinic here. Uh, now, I managed to get uh, Ricardo's uh, family members on the phone. Uh, they said that they would call me back, but they didn't want to comment on uh, what was happening right now. We'll continue to, to dig on that for you. Uh, but but now, I just did hear some news just a little bit ago that uh, DPS, uh, the Department of Public Safety, is supposed to be sending out a uh, press release uh, fairly soon. Uh, you know, we're hoping within minutes to, to explain what kind of raid happened today. As soon as we get that information, we'll bring it back to you. We are live out here in Panitas. John Bartell, Channel 5 News at 5. Well, the men and women entrusted to keep you safe may sometimes put you in danger. In a Channel 5 News investigation, we uncovered many reports of law enforcement driving distracted. Channel 5's Erica Proffer began reviewing them last summer. She's live in our studios with more. Erica? Yeah, Oscar, our records went back three years, and we found more than 200 times in those three years an Hidalgo County Sheriff's Office driver was involved in a wreck. So the repairs, the replacement, this loss of work cost impact your tax dollars. And when we started asking questions last summer, so did the newly appointed sheriff. The reports show many deputies are distracted behind the wheel. Some of the wrecks are blamed on open laptops. There are scattered files. Most of the wrecks were simply backing into objects. A few were other drivers causing injuries. The amount of wrecks grabbed the attention of the sheriff and he told us he would make changes. 
it was an identified problem because from a public safety perspective, you know, there's a, there's a propensity or, or potential for injury. Here is a more alarming number for you. We just got this in 2,221 law enforcement officers across the state of Texas crashed last year alone. So find out what the Hidalgo County Sheriff's Office is doing about the problem. Find out if it's working. You are going to hear the reports. It's Distracted on Duty, a Channel 5 News investigation airs tonight at 10. Live in our studios, Erica Proffer, Channel 5 News at 5. Well, a Brownsville family says they have no way to fix damage to their home after a car crashed through it. The driver barreled through a fence and then their front yard before knocking a hole in a front bedroom. This happened on the 600 block of Milpe Verde around 1 o'clock on Saturday morning. The family says they need their home patched up before the weather gets worse. Some chilly temperatures and rain is in the forecast next week. We don't know how they're going to fix it. We haven't got the money to fix it, you know. So. We're hoping that if the car had insurance, if he got to pay for it, you know, because we cannot fix it. The driver fled the scene, leaving the car there. You just heard from George Rocha. He says police told them they are still looking for the driver. Rocha told us he just wants the home repaired. They have already had one estimate for about $3,000. We continue to track down the latest details in an officer involved shooting in Corpus Christi. We reported on Channel 5 News at 4, three officers were shot uh, while executing a narcotic search warrant. Channel 5's Michael Scott is live at the scene in Corpus Christi. He has new details since 4. Michael, you just spoke to some of the residents in that neighborhood where it all happened, right? Oscar, people we spoke with say, Oscar, people we spoke with say that they are shaken up but are thankful the situation didn't get any worse. And you know, we've seen events like this unfold right at home in the valley. The most recent officer-involved shooting happened seven months ago. If you can remember, a couple of uh, Edinburgh officers were shot while serving a warrant. That happened in La Jolla. Now, I'm just yard away from where the shooting took place and I can tell you that there are many homes in the neighborhood in fact about a block and a half from where we are right behind those live trucks is an elementary school and a parent that we spoke with was telling us that the school was put on a lockdown and you know situations like this are dangerous for officers but they're also dangerous for people living nearby you can see right here it is an active scene authorities are continuing to investigate this situation I want to go ahead and show you a map of our location on where we're at. The shooting happened in this neighborhood on the 3000 block of Churchill. It's just southwest of the Corpus Christi downtown area. Three officers responded around 9 this morning and they were executing a narcotics and search warrant. While doing that, the suspects in the home started shooting. Now the officers were taken to a local hospital. We're told that one has already been released. The other two are expected to make a full recovery. Now we spoke with residents here. One lady we spoke with tells me this is the first time something like this has happened in her neighborhood. I'm not even a mile away. I live right there and my little brother comes in. He's like, oh, there's gunshots, there's gunshots. And now you hear sirens and I'm like, no, I, like it's crazy. I've never heard gunshots before. Now, three suspects were arrested. You know, a whole SWAT team was here backing up the officers that were uh, involved in this officer uh, involved shooting. And we're also told that three suspects were arrested at the scene. Reporting live in Corpus Christi, Michael Scott, Channel 5 News at 5. Back in the valley, weather-wise today, the clouds really thickened up this afternoon after some morning sunshine. But there was enough sun to warm temperatures up. Most of us hit 70 for a little while. Now we're beginning to cool off slowly. 68 Brownsville, Westlake. Harlan's at 69 and McAllen 70 at this hour. Winds out of the south, southeast, a little bit gusty. Right now sustained at 18 with gusts to over 25 miles an hour. Looks like that wind picks up the next couple of days and temperatures are going to go up a little bit too. Close look at your forecast is coming up in a few minutes. And if they want to come in and try and undo this, they will. It's a one-time deal for now. A same-sex couple marries in Texas. In two minutes, the special order that made it happen in what our state Supreme Court is now doing. Testimony in the trial of the man charged with gunning down two U.S. veterans paint a picture of a disturbed man. The prosecution counters. The jury could begin their deliberations soon. You're watching Channel 5 News at 5. We'll be right back. Breaking news. Breaking stories. This is Channel 5 News with Oscar Adame.
Melissa Correa. And First Warn 5 weather with Chief Meteorologist Tim Smith. This is Channel 5 News at 5. The fact is, in Texas, when you engineer a truck like Ram 1500 with best-in-class 29 miles per gallon highway and a 9,200-pound towing capacity, your playground gets a whole lot bigger. Get a great deal during Ram Truck Month. Now, current owners of select pickups get 11000 in total values on the 2015 Ram 1500 Lone Star Premium Crew Cab 4x2. Get power, performance, and up to 41 highway MPG from the 2015 Dodge Dart. Just $14,995. Only at Burt Ogden Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram on the Expressway in Harlingen. You can't import American pride. Dale gas. When you step into that courtroom, it's a dogfight. But I believe that I'm going to win every case I take because I'm prepared. I'm the hungriest. I fight harder. I take pride in what I do. The good people of Texas, thank you for putting your trust in me. My name is Alex Begum. I fight for you. Call the Begum Law Group at 909 Hurt and don't settle for less. More excitement. More adventure. More tunes. More versatility. America's most exciting lineup is at your local Nissan store now. And now's the best time to get yours. Choose the 38 MPG Highway Altima and save up to $32.50. Or save up to $12.50 on the 33 MPG Highway Road. Get to Nissan now. Bonus cash and soon. Shop ChooseNissan.com. Innovation that excites. Come experience the new luxury lineup from Lincoln and see how Bogus redefines personalized customer service. This is real luxury. And Bogus is the Valley's only destination for Lincoln. Right now, you can lease a 2015 Lincoln MKC for only $3.59 a month or lease a 2015 Lincoln Navigator for only $6.49 a month. Bogus Lincoln and McAllen, just off Highway 83 and west of Bogus Ford. It's better at Bogus. You know, we can't control what the AG's office wants to do. And if they want to come in and try and undo this, they will. But we have a valid marriage license, and I don't think they can. The Texas Supreme Court issued an emergency order blocking gay couples from obtaining marriage licenses after a lesbian couple wed in Austin. The two women are allowed to marry on a one-time court ordered issued for health reasons. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton says he will try to avoid that marriage license through other means. The state's ban on gay marriage was overturned by a federal judge last year. The ruling is on hold, though, pending a decision by an appeals court. And we're just very grateful that we've had this opportunity to crack the door open in Texas. We hope it will swing wide for everyone very soon. The judge ruled that the health issue prevents the couple from wading through the appeals process. One of the women has cancer. The judge's ruling applies only to that couple. Psychotic, erratic, and battling demons. That is how family members describe Eddie Ray Routh. He is charged in the shooting death of American sniper Chris Kyle and his friend Chad Littlefield. The defense claims Routh was battling a severe state of psychosis when he gunned down the men two years ago at a Texas gun range. The prosecution says Routh is a cold-blooded killer who knew exactly what he was doing. The judge says testimony could end Friday with Routh's fate in the hands of a jury as soon as Monday. And to California, where nearly 180 patients treated at UCLA's Ronald Reagan Medical Center are being told they may have been exposed to a potentially deadly bacteria. Officials say the drug-resistant superbug, known as CRE, was likely transmitted to patients through contaminated medical endoscopes. UCLA says they have identified two reusable scopes that may have spread the bacteria. In a statement, the hospital said seven patients have tested positive so far, and an internal investigation found the outbreak may have contributed to two deaths. In many of these outbreaks, they can't find a breakdown in any of those cleaning procedures. So there's something going on here, you know, whether they have to change the procedures or not. But there's a reason that scopes are, are spreading this in hospitals. Meanwhile, I got 
The hospital says they are now using a decontamination process, excuse me, that goes above and beyond the manufacturer and national standards. Medical experts say that not everyone exposed to CRE will develop an infection. Well, clouds rolled in this afternoon, but temperatures still warmed up to around 70 degrees. Things are going to change a little bit in the days ahead. We're going to get even warmer when we come back. Your first one five forecast for Vibonis, Heidelberg, the Port of Brownsville, and the rest of the valley. That's next. Right now, save $5,500 off MSRP on 2015 Suburbans at $5,000 off MSRP on Tahoes during Truck Month. Plus, save $10,000 off MSRP on a 2014 Chevy Silverado Crew Cab with GM owner loyalty and trade assistance. Come celebrate with us where the party and the savings never stop. Meet Fiesta. Es su Fiesta. Fiesta Chevrolet Edinburgh. Just like you, we live, work, and play in the areas we serve. For Magic Valley, serving a community involves more than just providing electricity. You are likely to see us at your child's school, at community events, supporting local nonprofits. As our membership grows, we continue to ensure that you, our member, continues to receive safe, affordable, reliable power. You and I make Magic Valley. Empowering you. Empowering your community. That is really great queso. Where's the balsamic vinegar? I'm looking for uh, lingonberry. Okay, uh, thank you. Right, this way, I got it. Pepper toppers. Gracias. We searched the world to find our unique HEB Primo Picks. Now, we need your help. Name our new Primo Pick salsa and you could win $5,000. Couch True Value is one of the few family-owned hardware stores in the Valley. Celebrating over 80 years at the same location meets professional customer service and great bargains for you. Like 10% off six colors of skirting. 16-ounce propane bottles, couches priced $3. Entry locks, polished brass, or stainless steel, only $5. Couch has over 60 color combinations of vinyl siding and skirting in stock. Start right, start here. Couch True Value Alamo, the siding source. I'm outside, where are you? I'm right here. I'm in the Buick. I don't see a Buick. Oh, got it. Encore, the expectation-shattering crossover from Buick. Wow. During the Buick President's Day event, current Buick or GMC lessees get $4,500 toward the purchase of the 2014 Encore when you finance through select lenders. And now, First Warn 5 weather with Chief Meteorologist Tim Smith. Hey folks, a mild afternoon. The clouds came back in, but temperatures at least warmed up a little bit more. Most of us hit the 70s for a little while. Back to the 60s, every place but McAllen and Edinburgh were at 70, 71 degrees. 64 at the beach, 68 Brownsville. Temperatures across the area, relatively mild. Tonight, not as cool as last night. Tonight, we drop into the upper 50s, low 60s, valley-wide. That's about it. And then tomorrow, look at these numbers. Up 80-plus in the western half of the valley and close to 80 in the east. The only thing about it is it's going to be a day, yes, warm, but it's also going to be a windy day, and there's probably going to be a fair amount of cloudiness around, probably more cloudy than sunshine. We warm up even more on Saturday. Look, tomorrow's 80. Saturday's 86. Sunday, we've taken the number up a little bit because we think the front's coming in a little later in the day, so we should reach maximum heating, so we should get up around 84 degrees. Could hit 86 again. That's a possibility, but still a warm day on Sunday. Cooling comes Sunday night with the front. All right, here's satellite satellite radar together. Nothing on radar, but the satellite shows the clouds that just really thickened up quickly about midday today, making, taking us from clear skies to overcast skies in a hurry. Tonight, I think we're still mainly cloudy. Can't rule out a sprinkle near the coast, but I think most of us, if not all of us, are rain-free. Tomorrow, it's a mixture of clouds and sun again. More clouds in the eastern half of the valley, but I think by afternoon, it's another mostly cloudy day. Going to Saturday, same thing. More clouds than sunshine, but with temperatures up into the mid to upper 80s and a little more humidity. Dew points climbing back up as well. It's going to feel completely different than it feels today and Sunday will be a lot like that too. I think tomorrow's mainly dry, maybe a sprinkle or two near the coast. Saturday's a dry day. Then late Sunday when the front gets here, 
about a 30% chance of some rain. Rest of South Texas, it's as warm as it is here. Look at that, 71 in Del Rio and 72 all the way up in Lubbock. So the whole state warming up today very quickly with some clouds moving in statewide. It's a southerly flow that's pushing this warm front off to the north and east. That's what's warming the state up. Here comes the next storm system that's showing up in the panhandle. That pushes a front into Texas and eventually into South Texas. That front moves through the area probably Sunday evening. So we're still warm Sunday, but then we turn windy, cooler with some rain around for Monday and Tuesday. Temperatures tomorrow around the state. If you're traveling, San Antonio is 57 in the morning. Amarillo is 34 by afternoon, 68 in Dallas, 70 San Antonio, 68 in the Houston area. Mild day wall to wall across Texas. So 58 tonight, cloudy, mild tomorrow, back up to 80. A little bit breezy. Okay, windy, southeast 15 to 30. Let's take a look at the next three days. We go 80, 86, 84 Sunday, a late shower like evening with the front, and then cloudy with some rain on Monday, only 62, 15. Tuesday, then back in the mid 60s for Wednesday and Thursday. That's your updated first one five forecast. We'll be right back after this. Burt Ogden Harlingen Hyundai is your destination for a great deal on a new vehicle. Drive a 2015 Hyundai Elantra just 99 per month or the sleek and stylish 2015 Hyundai Sonata, yours for just 159 per month. And with Hyundai Assurance, you get America's best warranty, 10 years or 100,000 miles. When shopping for your next new car, the best option is to take the Altus Palmas exit to Burt Ogden Harlingen Hyundai. Dolly Gas. Hi, I know you're hurt pretty bad, and, and I can help you get everything you need. Eh? Just sign here. I'm Jesse Gonzalez. Don't fall for the case runner scam. It's illegal for a lawyer, doctor, or their runner to contact you after an accident. Case runners work with greedy doctors and lawyers to squeeze every dollar out of you. Your settlement can be stolen. Don't be a victim. Talk to a lawyer you can trust. Call the J. Gonzalez Law Firm at 1-800-CAR-CRASH. This is where the NBA starts. This is how NBA rosters are built. This is the NBA in the RGV. Come see your RGV Vipers take on the main Red Claws Thursday, February 19th. Then it's Vipers versus Iowa Energy Saturday, February 21st. Games presented by Matt's Building Materials and Lone Star National Bank. For tickets, call 972-1144 or visit Ticketmaster.com. RGV Vipers versus the main Red Claws. RGV Vipers versus the Iowa Energy. Be there. Attitude is everything, and it starts from the top down. It starts with my dad, and then it comes, it comes down to the brothers, and then it comes down to our, our employees. If you have a good attitude, I think you have a good recipe for success. And we have a lot of great employees that have a lot of good attitudes, and uh, it shows. Employees come in with a good attitude, a happy, positive attitude, and they really take pride in what they do. And customers are going to be happy because they're being serviced by somebody that enjoys coming to work and somebody that, uh, that appreciates what they do. I think attitude is very important. The premier golf event of the year is just around the corner. The 19th annual Vamos Cup Golf Tournament presented by Doctors Hospital at Renaissance. It's Saturday, March 7th at Palmview Golf Course. Over $20,000 in prizes to be awarded. Hole-in-one vehicles from the San Juan Luxury Auto Group dealerships at each par three. For more information, call 631-1273. Join us and help Vamos award four-year scholarships to graduating high school students of the Rio Grande Valley. Deadline enters March 2nd. Don't miss it. Vamos! Education Beat is supported by the Region 1 Education Service Center. Region 1's Gear Up is working to make the financial process for a college easier for high school students. Leti Garza shows us parents are not left out either. I think it's very important because parents need to be aware. They need to know what the financial aid process is. I know a lot of parents uh, have the misconception that because their child is undocumented, you know, there's no opportunity for them. Some parents uh, think they make too much. Some even think they make too little. They have no income and they think financial aid is not for them. And nothing could be further than the truth. Everyone is eligible for some type of financial aid. Region 1 Gear Up Education Specialist Christina Rodriguez says time is of the essence. There are deadlines high school students need to meet if they want to qualify for certain types of financial aid. Sophomore year is a critical time because by the time junior year rolls around, they're expected to get the ball rolling, get everything ready for college, and right now we're setting the framework so our students know what they're going to be getting into. Parents understand what will be expected of them in the process, and we're helping them 
gear up for college. Kids should be applying as of January 1st. That's when the window opens till March 15th, and that's something that we learned at this conference. Some parents can't believe what they've learned at this financial literacy summit. They are, and I see them taking notes, and I hear them asking each other questions, and when they hear something that they didn't know, I see their, you know, their eyes, they, their eyes are open, and they turn and say, Ms. Yo no sabia eso. So it's really exciting to see um, all the um, information that they're receiving. And all of them receive some exciting information straight from the source. They heard from two of eight people who work for the United States Department of Education. More on that in next week's Gear Up. I'm Leti Garza reporting from Region 1 in Edinburgh. Right now, save $5,500 off MSRP on 2015 Suburbans and $5,000 off MSRP on Tahoe's at Bird Ogden Chevrolet in Mission. Choose from more than 1,500 Chevys on the lot today during Truck Month. Save 10,000 off MSRP on a 2014 Chevy Silverado Crew Cab with GM owner loyalty and trade assistance. But hurry in because these deals are going fast. At Bird Ogden Chevrolet, Ryan Road and Expressway 83 Mission. Dolly Gas. More excitement, more adventure, more tunes, more versatility. America's most exciting lineup is at your local Nissan store now. And now's the best time to get yours. Choose the 38 MPG Highway Altima and save up to $32.50. Or save up to $12.50 on the 33 MPG Highway Road. Get to Nissan now. Bonus cash and soon. Shop ChooseNissan.com. Innovation that excites. So I can wish for anything? Yes. A puppy. Affordable home internet. Well, I can make that wish come true. Excuse me? With Time Warner Cable's everyday low-price internet, you get the speed and reliability you need for surfing and emailing for $14.99 a month. Until it goes up. No, that's the price. And it's backed by their better guarantee. Well, that sounds perfect, actually. Do you know where the nearest pet store is? <laughs> Call now to get everyday low-price internet for $14.99 per month. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. Looking for a real deal on a car, truck, or SUV? Bogus has nothing but real deals. Save yourself the headache of a tricky car dealer. Get real savings on every Ford we have in stock. And see for yourself why it's better at Bogus. Right now, get into a 2014 Ford F-154x4 for just $2.99 a month. Or get a fuel-efficient 2014 Ford Focus for only $1.79 a month. Real deals. It's better at Bogus. In Harlingen, in McAllen, and always at BogusFord.com. Whether you're just out with a best friend or best dressed for an evening out, Ford Fuel Economy is best in the long run. And Sync with My Ford Touch is your best call. Now get up to 3,500 cash back on Fusion or choose zero for 60 plus a thousand bonus cash. Ford is the best in Texas. Con Mi Gente is supported by Security First Credit Union and Sonic. It's a competition showcasing the talents of some musicians in the Valley. The competition so fierce, Grammy Award winners come here to check it out for themselves. Rick Diaz takes us to the big squeeze in today's Con Mi Gente. Yes, Texas Folklife produces the Big Squeeze Accordion Contest. We're in our ninth year. They're young musicians waiting for their big break, and the accordion is their instrument. The accordion is a special instrument to Texas. Um, it's part of the roots music of many genres of, of Texas traditional music, polka, uh, Cajun, Zydeco, and of course here in Conjunto, Tejano, and Norteño. Texas Folklife is based out of Austin, and their mission is to preserve and promote Texas' diverse heritage. La Jolla High School is the site of this contest, and among those that have come to see them is McAllen native and Grammy Award winner Carlos Guzman. Those competing today are still in high school. As a child, I, I used to see my grandfather play, and while well, he plays accordion and bajo quinto. And well, I, I wanted to learn his songs. He was a little nervous at first. He loves to play what is called el bajo quinto, a guitar with ten strings. 
But this has also launched careers. Juan Longoria is the 2007 winner. He's now a music teacher at Los Fresnos High School. Actually, it did help me a lot with, actually, at Los Fresnos where I'm teaching at. It, it gave it a lot of prestige. A lot of these kids, they already have it in them. Cecilio Garza is the conjunto director at La Jolla High School. I played for one of the first groups here at La Jolla High School with Lenny and the Lucky Six back in the 60s. The winner gets a new accordion, cash, and a lot of promotion. Usually about half of our participants come from the Valley. They get to play at a big show uh, that we put on every year in Houston at the Miller Outdoor Theater, and that's called Accordion Kings and Queens. Uh, that's attended by 6,000 people. The winners will be announced this summer. It's the Big Squeeze by Texas Folklife. For Channel 5 News, I'm Rick Diaz on me and and you can't hear that dancing without, uh, or at least the music without a little dancing. Thanks for joining us. Have yourself a great evening. Bye-bye. Closed captioning brought to you by Channel 5 and Clark Knapp Honda. Hey, Pete, check yeah. this out. Come here, little doggy. Sit. Oh. Sit. You train your little doggy? Yeah, but he's not doing any of his stuff. Shake. Oh, maybe he's grumpy, you know? Oh. I mean, it is lunchtime, so. Oh, right, it's lunchtime. It's lunchtime, yeah. <laughs> Must be it. <laughs> little doggy. It's okay. Does it taste good, though? A little dog with a big bite. Low doggies starting in $1.29. And save room for a molten cake sundae. This is how you sonic. What if I told you affordable luxury is not a myth? Did you know that at Bird Dogden Infinity in Denver, you can get luxury, performance, safety, and affordability too. Like the 2015 Infiniti Q40 for just $229 per month. With luxury cars for less than $300 per month, you owe it to yourself to stop in today. Find affordable luxury with world-class style and exceptional service at Bird Ogden Infinity in Edinburgh. Dalegas! Tonight at 10, you trust them to keep you safe. Reports show they sometimes put you in danger. It was an identified problem because from a public safety perspective, there was a propensity or, or potential for injury. Deputies causing accidents. We dug through the reports. The county admits it's a problem. We want to be the standard on the road. We want to set the standard for the community to see us driving and driving the right way. See why deputies are distracted on duty and what the county is doing about it. Distracted on duty, a Channel 5 News special report tonight at 10. You're watching KRGV, Channel 5, Westlaco. On this Thursday night, pipes bursting, families now paying the price for this, and now the next storm, ice freezing rain for tens of millions of drivers. Tonight, the plummeting temperatures from the Midwest to the Northeast, all the way to the South. What you should do right now to protect your home and what insurance will not cover. The new national warning tonight, the hospital superbug fears. Two dead, nearly 180 patients possibly exposed. Breaking developments in the deadly road rage manhunt, the mother of four killed. And today, the standoff. We're on the scene. The real reason Eddie Murphy didn't perform at the SNL reunion, Bill Cosby applauding him tonight. And a quiz for you, the one thing behind that curtain at the Oscars, made in America. Can you guess? From ABC News World Headquarters, this is ABC World News Tonight with David Muir. Good evening, and we begin with a dangerous deep freeze. 160 million Americans in tonight, 23 states under wind chill advisories and freeze warnings, and now homeowners and new worries about those pipes bursting. Tonight, we have more on what insurance does not cover. And over the next 12 hours, a massive surge of Arctic air moving east and further south, possibly shattering records from Cincinnati to New York down to Miami. The view inside this home in Holbrook, New York, playing out in so many homes, water coming in through the ceiling. And of course, the rescues tonight, even the animals trying to get to this dog in Massachusetts there. The view flying over Chicago today and in Kentucky tonight. They're using landfills now for the snow. We have more on the new storm moving in behind it, but we're going to begin tonight with ABC's Matt Gutman in Louisville. Tonight, extreme cold bringing an expensive epidemic. Burst pipes, 
Watch this student at Michigan's Oakland University narrowly misses that icy deluge. This family helpless as their ceiling begins to rain. Thousands of emergency calls around the country, 4,000 in Washington.